what does reading the Quran do for us in our lives? It changes our lives. Of course, the recitation of the Quran, that's muhadarat. Those are lectures, not even a lecture. But the reason the recitation of the Quran, it changes our lives. That a person is one that recites the Quran, as the Prophet said, مَثَلُ الَّذِي يَذْكُرْ رَبَّهُ وَالَّذِي لَا يَذْكُرْ رَبَّهُ مَثَلُ الْحَيِّ وَالْمَيِّتِ the example of the one that remembers his Lord and does not remember his Lord is that the example of the, of the dead, the, the living and the dead. And the best of the dhikr, ikhwan, is the recitation of the Book of Allah. The Prophet ﷺ resembled the uh, people as it relates to reciting the Book of Allah <coughs> to a number of fruits. He said that the believer who recites the Quran is like the citron. Yani its smell is fragrant and its taste is sweet. And then he said that the believer who does not recite the Quran is like a tamar, is like the date. It tastes sweet, but it has no fragrance. Uh, and so the recitation of the Quran, Ikhwan, there is a great difference between the one that recites the Quran on a regular basis and the one that does not recite the Quran. The Qur'an daily, ikhwan, when a person recites it, it daily chips away at that hardness that has overcome our hearts, most of our hearts. It is the greatest and from the greatest of the affairs by way of which a person will remove the hard ran that has overcome our hearts, as Allah Azza wa Jalla has mentioned. Kalla bal ran ala ma kanu yaksibun. That indeed darkness has overcome their hearts because of what they have earned. And so this darkness that has overcome his, the, the heart causes him to incline towards sharr, to love evil, to incline towards it. And to have no desire for good and for khair. Because of this darkness that is over the heart, he only desires and inclines towards following his desires, following hawa. With the recitation of the Qur'an slowly but surely, that recitation chips away at that, 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 that seal that is present and that covering that is over the heart. Chips away at that darkness. Removes it so that the person sees Ikhwan and he walks with nur. That if a person were to recite the Quran every day, the Prophet ﷺ, he said that every harf, every letter that a person recites from the Quran, he receives 10 rewards. Every letter. وَلَا أَكُولُ أَلِفْ لَا مِمْ حَرْف وَلَكِنْ أَلِفٌ حَرْفٌ وَلَامٌ حَرْفٌ وَمِيمٌ حَرْفٌ And I don't say Alif Lam Mim is one letter But Alif is a letter, Lam is a letter and Mim is a letter Ten rewards So you imagine Ikhwan reciting the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Or reciting a surah Or a page from the Quran How many rewards that is present And how many letters that are present upon that page And then that you sit for Perhaps 20 minutes, 25 minutes and recite the juz of the Quran <coughs> how many ikhwan, how much reward that a person for just for simply reciting and it could the, anything be easier and then on top of that recitation on top of the reward that he receives he has his sin removed from him on top of the sin being removed from him he, re he receives guidance and benefit in relation to what he's actually reading instruction in his life Allah Azza wa Jal Ikhwan has blessed the believer in relation to the recitation of the Quran and given to him that which no other individual receives unless he's someone that does more than him as it relates to the remembrance of Allah, the dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jal and the recitation of the Quran. Recitation of the Quran is nur Ikhwan. Allah has made it shifa lima fi sudur. It is a cure for what is in the breast, light and illumination for that individual. And there is a direct connection between the one who recites the book of Allah and does not recite uh, the book of Allah. Or a difference of one between the two. And a connection between the one who recites the book of Allah and his Lord. That is his speech. Ata ibn Abi Rabah. He used to pick up the Mus'haf and would kiss the Mus'haf and say, Kalamu Rabbi, Kalamu Rabbi. Before he would recite. Because that is what it is. Kalam of my Lord, the Kalam of my Lord. They understood what the Qur'an is, the Qur'an, the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
unadulterated, pure. Similarly, in the Quran, Ikhwan, we have those surah that have all of those great reward for us. Surah that we recite before we go to sleep. Verses that are present within it that have in it protection for us. Verses by way of which our recitation of them, Allah will send down a protector from the sky, from the heavens, to protect and guard us. Verses and surah, small chapters in the Quran, that were greater than anything that has ever been revealed from the previous scripture and books. Small verses in the Quran. Ikhwan kitab azim, jiddan, jiddan, jiddan. And these things, Ikhwan, as we, we need to understand that when we look back at how strong we may have been when we initially began to practice, and then how the shaitan has had an effect upon us, we need to observe the fact that it is by way of small incremental changes that the shaitan has got you to where you are now if you're in a place that is not is not as good as it was it is by way of small incremental changes Ikhwan. slowly but surely shway, shway, shway. so this changes that changes such and such happens this occurs you let you abandon this you let go of that you used to mashallah enter the masjid with the miswak now the miswak's gone. You used to use the miswak before salah. Now the miswak's gone. After salah you pray raka'atayn. Now you abandon that after salah. Yani quick zikr and leave. All of these small things, ikhwan, all these small changes, the shaitan knows that slowly but surely, they were what were making you the powerhouse of iman that you were. Giving you that powerhouse in your chest. Slowly but surely the shaitan knows the best way to weaken you is to strip you of all of these things that made you strong. You used to sit down after Fajr and recite the Quran, recite verses from the Quran or memorize from the Quran. That daily recitation of the Quran was having an effect upon you. That dhikr that you used to recite, the adhkar of the morning and the evening that you used to recite have an effect upon you. The dhikr that you recite that the the statement that one utters when he enters the masjid. Slowly but surely the shaitan strips us of all of those things. Slowly but surely. And then we feel weak. Yani we're not able to weep anymore. Yani the Quran doesn't affect us anymore. We hear lectures and we can't be bothered with them. We hear yani, the recitation of the Quran. It doesn't have any effect upon us. We sit down in the khutbah and we sit down and play with our big toe. No effect any longer. And then it concerns us the way our hearts feel. Then we come to, we reach a log ahead where we begin to ask ourselves that, you know, something is wrong. Then I can feel my heart is hard. I can feel it. One begins to incline towards shar. Now, so now, then he, he starts to <coughs> or opens a, a Netflix account. Now he's online all day and begins to waste, slowly but surely, waste more and more time. And now, when he would never have paid attention to the people of innovation because of the state of his heart, those Shubuha now sound fair seeming. And this guy actually has a point. And Imam ibn al Qayyim makes mention of the fact that the, from the evil effects of sin, is that they have an effect upon the hidayah of the, of the heart of the individual. Yani that heart that is preserved and protected, then when hidayah and gayanat and haq comes to him, he recognizes it, he sees it, he accepts it, he loves it. But the heart that is affected by sin and is covered and has darkness over it, when guidance and haq and truth comes to him, he doesn't even recognize it. It's confusing. This iltibas it is not crystal clear to him. And that is the effect, Ikhwan, that that ran, that, that cover over the heart has. And slowly but surely, Ikhwan, that cover can be removed. And it is removed by following these methods. Yeah, they return back to recitation of the Quran at least at some time in the day. As Shaykh al Fawzan mentioned, Ayyad, Ayyad, Ayyad. Yani that it is a, a, yani a shame 
yani shame upon you. Believer does not recite the Quran at least once every day. There should be some, at least some bout in your day, some time in the day, where the believer recites upon recites the Quran, recites from the Quran. Eh, Allah, Ikhwan. That we do not recite the Book of Allah as it is present in our midst. The Christians day and night study their book, Ikhwan, and it is adulterated and perverted and corrupt. And the speech of man, and the speech of people, and, and the speech of yeah, Allah knows best who. And they cherish it and study it and have study circles. And we have the pure, unadulterated kalam Allah, speech of Allah, Ikhwan. And we don't have a daily sitting with it. The speech of Allah, Azza wa Jal, daily. Or like even if it is a few minutes a day, even if it is five, ten minutes a day. Even if it is as we're, as we're going about our day-to-day -day affairs. Why don't we get one of those small pocket mushaf? Or those ajza? Any the mushaf that is in parts. And that we just keep one with us. We keep a part that in the abadan. We have a, a juz. <coughs> or at the very least, that we download the app. We download a good mushaf app. And if it is that we are not good with keeping small books and stuff with us, at least we have an app. And rather than checking WhatsApp, checking this and checking that, checking social media, open that app. It's really 10 minutes, 5 minutes. And you will see, wallahi, you will see the effect that that has upon your soul, upon your heart, upon your purification, upon strengthening, you, strengthening your iman, rectifying your affairs. In it is khair, ikhwan, wallahi. Khair for the believer. The shaitan wants to turn us away from that. That is what the shaitan wants for us. Asala subhanahu wa ta'ala wa fikana wa iyaakum liwa yuhibbuhu wa yirdaah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa akhid da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbi'ala.